Hello Sloth family, welcome to the Manga Sloth December Manga Haul. We got 70 plus volumes this month for awesome stuff, but before we get into that, I just want to let everyone know that as of this video, I have a 1,000 plus subscriber giveaway, thank you, where I am giving away $75 in digital gift cards to get more manga and sweet loot, and also some manga and bookmarks and stuff like that. Go check that out, it's still running for another week or two I believe make sure you get in so you have a chance to win and also write stuff anime as you may or may not know is doing holiday deals which they are awesome and they have bundles on manga and prices which are amazing so if you want to support the channel in any way which in return supports you go and use my affiliate link to buy some sweet manga and all proceeds that I get 100% go back to giving giveaways on this channel. Nothing goes to me, it all goes back to you guys. Now let's get in to the sweet manga haul. Okay, now we are up close and like always you're gonna see my sweet manga sloth talons and then I'm going to go over the manga I got this month and I'll make sure to give you all a awesome close up so you can see all the manga. Well, we'll start off here with Spy Family number three. Picked this up this month, read it. It was really good. The series is definitely impressing me it's getting better and better a lot of hype around it i don't think every bit of hype about it was warranted but definitely enough that it is a series that's looking pretty good it's real funny the artwork is good and i'm starting to really enjoy the characters and how they're interacting and i'm i'm really looking forward to how their stories are going to unfold next up we have these chunky witch buster volumes which are two in ones i got one two three four five six seven eight and nine and ten so i got ten volumes here i did buy these used i got them pretty cheap i don't know too much about this series but i know it's still ongoing i believe and i am looking forward to getting more of this series though i do know the next volume the 11 and 12 here it's quite expensive if I am remembering that correctly. It's one of those situations where, and I'm sure some of you have had this happen, there is a whole manga series and for some reason some random number is just must not have got printed that much and is just hard to find. It kind of just blows my mind that something like that happens. It's very weird, but hopefully I'll be able to get the next volume of that without too much trouble. Next up, I got D. Grayman number seven and eight. Boy, these are great looking covers. I forgot how good the covers on D. Grayman look. I do not own all of D. Grayman. That is why I am buying it little by little. I, I do love the series. I've watched the anime and I know the manga is quite different from the anime, if I am correct on that. And I want to get most, if not all of it, before I start reading it. One thing I do, I don't know if anybody else does, is I place orders every month for manga. And what I like to do is add one or two manga on the end of it that I'm just trying to slowly build up and read. And D. Gray Man is one of them. I just chuck one or two onto orders. Or if I find them used or something like that, I always pick up a couple and try to build the collection that way because I'm not made of money so I can't just go out and buy ginormous chunks of manga so buying little by little helps me out. Next up I'm gonna have three different ones at the same time. The reason I'm showing three completely different brand new volume one mangas here is because I got these this month in the Manga Spice Cafe box. If you haven't heard of that or you haven't watched my video on that definitely check it out that box is really awesome now this now it gives you three manga each month in the subscription type service which i think is cool it is a really good manga box so we got enel diwalia holy smokes i apologize for the butchering this series is by the creator of Witch Hat Atelier, which if you know anything about that, that lady is an amazing artist and also 
a great storyteller and Witch Hat a Tailor has won many awards and will be winning more in the future. So definitely check this one out. And then two more that I've never heard of, By the Grace of the Gods, Volume 1. And then Heaven's Design Team, Volume 1 also. This one in particular looks pretty cool and the artwork looks real nice too. And as you can tell, it's one of those mangas where they fill up the whole page with stuff. They don't just leave giant blank spaces, a lot more backgrounds and stuff. So looking forward to reading that. All right, next up here we got King of Hell, volume one through 10. And then 11 through 22. So we got all of these here. And as you can see, for your cringe pleasure, they are not all the same spines. I've seen King of Hell for such a long, long period of time. I never knew what it was about, but I've always seen it on, on used manga sites, things like that. And definitely in used and secondhand bookstores, things like that. And I always kind of just thought it was just, you know, one of those mangas that nobody likes. But then I was thinking, why does it have so many volumes out? And I believe I have all the volumes here so far. I was able to pick up the majority of these used for literally dirt cheap. And then I kind of picked up the rest of the volumes for like a dollar each on Right Stuff Anime. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know too much about it, but I do know it looks awesome, looks really battly and cool, and I'll be definitely looking forward to reading it. Okay, next up we have Flying Witch number two. Super cute manga, slice of life feeling, really awesome. Look at that little mousey there, super cute. I got volume one for my wife as a gift when I was shopping at a Barnes and Noble just one day. So she didn't think the first volume was too great. She thought it was okay, not, you know, nothing earth shaking, but she wanted to try volume number two and make sure it was something she didn't want to read or want to read. So I got her it and after reading this volume, I think she's now hooked. Definitely a lot harder than she was before. She said it was a very good volume and now she's starting to enjoy the characters and everything a lot more. So it definitely stepped it up. Speaking of stepping it up, has anyone else read One Piece 95? Holy smokes. My sloth brain was going crazy. In this volume, there is insane information and stuff going on one piece just what am i supposed to say about one piece that hasn't already been said it's the top dog for a reason oda knows what he's doing and he knows how to do it very well definitely read this series or watch it or both another chunk of used and cheaper manga that I've been picking up uh, on the side here, kind of like the D. Greyman, is Nura, Rise of the Yokai Clan. I've been trying to pick these up one by one to try to complete and get this whole series together. Now being harder to get, I don't know if it's out of print. I know it's uh, completed, but these covers are great. Look at these covers. They are really awesome. Nice color and everything. All right. We have, this month I have lots of chunks of manga. I decided to start picking up Maggie. And the reason is I've seen it on shelves. I've seen it in bookstores. I've just seen it everywhere for years. And I've always wondered what it was about. So I finally decided once I found these, bought them used on Manga Swap for a good price. And they're all relatively good mint condition i finally decided you know what i'm gonna grab these and i'm gonna start reading them one by one and it should be a great journey because i know maggie is loved and cared about by a lot of people and hopefully i'm saying that right it's maggie not maggie or magi or something like that 
If you know the correct pronunciation, let me know. All right, let's move these to the side here. And just like I said, I will show off the collection stacked up all neat and pretty at the end for everyone to see. Beastars number nine. Got this and read it. Beastars is very enjoyable to me still. I enjoy the story. This volume in particular, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. A lot of new news happening in the series where things that we've been wanting to know are starting to get unraveled and the story's progressing very nicely in a good way. I may have said this before, but uh, Beastars was a series that was very hyped. So I obviously jumped on the hype train and I picked it up and reading number one, I'm not kidding. I was halfway through it and I said, this artwork is it's just not for me it just didn't appeal to me and i was like i don't know about this story i just i don't know well i finished volume one and here i am months later with volume nine and 10 is pre-ordered and hopefully on the way sometime soon so that just shows you it's that good i'm willing to spend money on it and get it very good series very different all right as you can see here we got my love story number two number three these covers are freaking awesome they are hilarious look at that number four number five number six number seven these man these covers are great number eight look at this number nine there we go there we go that's cool 10 11 fairy tale looking and 13 that is right i'm missing 12 i have it on the way they just didn't have it in stock right away what happened here if you have or have not already heard me speaking about this i had number one of this series in my collection for a while in my to read list and i just never got around it it was sitting there for maybe a month month and a half and my wife decided to read it and after she read it she said it was amazing it was so funny absolutely so funny she was giggling the whole time and the story is so so good so i said all right and so i picked it up and read it and she was not lying it was great it was absolutely great neither of us have read any more of it i literally based buying the rest of the collection on the first volume there's only 13 volumes and these are really nice spines i like the different colors i've only heard good things about this series so it's going to be really great reading it okay last but not least and i'm gonna need to make a little bit of room because these are big chunkies i bought mobile suit gundam the origins i bought bundles of these on right stuff i know the story of origin i know about it but i do not own these beautiful volumes so i finally decided to bite the bullet and buy these but with right stuff's bundles of these buying three for a bundle it was still expensive but definitely way less expensive and if you know anything about these hardcovers they are some of the nicest out they feel amazing the paper quality is glossy beautiful paper and i got number three and hopefully i got all these roman numerals correct i got number four beautiful these are so beautiful number five look at that look at that Number six here. Got number seven. Got number eight. Man, that's awesome. These spines are awesome too. They look great on the shelf. The artwork in this is some of the best Gundam artwork out there. Definitely not on the level of Thunderbolt, but this is an older manga series. Finally brought into the light with these gorgeous hardcovers. And I got all the way up to 12. And with that, 
ends this manga haul. I'll bring you in for the close-up shot of them all together. If you like my content, if you like manga, or you just like sloths, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. And remember to write me some comments. I will talk to you all down in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.